We left Tampa International Airport and United Airlines at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, headed for Washington Dulles Airport, where we would board our flight to Buenos Aires, Argentina at 10 p.m. The distance to Buenos Aires is about 5,200 miles and takes approximately 10 hours, depending on weather and winds. This leaves plenty of time for eating and watching a movie before dropping off to sleep for five or six hours. After a very uneventful flight, we arrived in Buenos Aires at 11 o'clock a.m. There's a two-hour time difference, and we had been traveling for 21 hours. Not too bad for the distance traveled, though. We spent a week in Buenos Aires sightseeing and eating. We took a day trip to Colonia, Uruguay. And we took a two-day trip to Iguazu Falls in the northeast part of Argentina before setting sail for the Falkland Islands and Antarctica. Sailing time to the Falkland Islands, or Islas Malvinas as they are called in Argentina, is two days, but one day from port we were advised that we would not be stopping there due to high winds and heavy seas which would make tendering unsafe. We were to continue on to the Antarctic Peninsula. As we were making our way south, the captain once again announced on the public address that due to high winds, more than 80 miles an hour, and heavy seas, around 20 feet, we would not be going to Antarctica, but would alter course to the north to visit Ushuaia, Argentina, and Tierra del Fuego National Park. He promised that we would make another attempt to get to Antarctica in the following days. So, after rounding Cape Horn and visiting Ushuaia, we again set out to sail south to the Antarctic Peninsula. Seas were still high and the winds were blowing at 50 miles per hour, but we were sleeping and didn't notice a thing until 4 o'clock in the morning when we woke and saw white mountains outside our cabin.